Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Nkazuma Mezimbabwe. I make videos about the my about my experience living in Botswana and Zimbabwe. So I hope you like it and then you love it. So guys, in today's video, I'll be doing a video about the difference between Botswana and Zimbabwe. So I once did a similar video. So today I'm doing part two. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. So I have listed them down here on my book. So if you see me looking down, I'll be looking at my notes. So number one is that Botswana was never colonized while Zimbabwe was colonized. This is the one thing that I didn't know that in Africa as a country that was never colonized. I didn't know until this year. Number two is surnames. Here in Botswana, kids, they use their mother's surnames if their parents are not married. Even though when they are staying together, they can still use their mother's surname until the father marries the mother. If the both parents just decided that they won't get married, they want to be separated, it means the child will use the mother's surname until they get married someday or the, for the rest of their life. But in Zimbabwe, it's not the case. In Zimbabwe, your mother is married or is not married. She's a mistress. If your father and your mother wants you to have the, the father's surname, you can get it. No matter what, you can still get it. It depends with the parents. If another parent doesn't want the other parent's birth certificate, sometimes it can happen. You can find that the mother wants the father and the birth certificate and then the father doesn't want. So you can still have a birth certificate with your mother alone or your mother use your mother's surname but if both parents they want you to have they want you to have your father's surname you can still have that regardless even though you were born outside the marriage number three is education this is a little bit uh different in same like primary level we say grade grade right grade one grade two grade three grade four grade five grade six why did why this in here in Pozona they say standard one standard two and another thing about education is that in sim we write form four but here in Botswana they write form three form three so there's form one form two form three here in Botswana and then you write from there you go to form four form five you write uh, your finals while it's in Zimbabwe we write form four we have form one form two form three form four and then from form four you go to uh, a level which is form five form six but here in Botswana they don't have form six they have form five so they don't have form, I don't know, is it form, they don't have, they don't have form 6. So their form 4 is form 3, Our, their form 6 is form 5. Number 4 is women. There's a lot of differences between Zimbabwean women and Botswana women in, in terms of character, the way of dressing, uh, just in uh, generally there's a lot a lot of a difference not in a negative way or in a bad way i realize that each and every country right it has its own rules so that's what i realize a lot or even though when i'm with them or when i'm with my friends i can feel that difference or there's a difference between us the way i think the way they think the way they do things you know, and then the way they do things and i'm not saying that it's a bad and i'm and i'm, I'm not saying that us in zimbabwe is good it's not I'm not saying that each and every country takes its own law and what might be good for me it might be bad for someone so I'm not condemning anyone I'm just like sharing generally what I, like there's a lot a lot a lot that we have a gap a big 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 difference between us the way we think the way we do things here in person as I mentioned last year on my last video about the difference as i said that i uh, can find a lady here in Botswana smoking and you can find them uh drinking everywhere right i'm not saying that in zimbabwe is not there it's there but it's rare right that's why i'm saying there's a lot of difference between us and i'm not saying that it's wrong it's okay for them right one of the things that we consider wrong in sim right is lady for ladies and but here in Botswana it's normal and the other things that here in Botswana they do they i uh, think it's uh it's not it's not okay but here in in but in zimbabwe we feel like there's not there's nothing wrong with that number five is a man there is a difference again between men and uh zimbabwe men and Botswana men and the last one thing about Botswana men is that they don't have that thing of uh this job is for for women this job is for men this job is for what and it is the one who's supposed to cook and it is the one who's supposed to 
to to to to clean the house a lady is the one supposed to change the child's diaper a lady is the one supposed to take care of the child a lady is the one supposed to to babysit a child they do all of these things right they do everything they can take care of their child they can change their child's like his diaper like without any fuss or why is in zimbabwe uh, I'm not saying that all of Zimbabwean men are like that, right? There are other people who, are, who do those things, but the other ones, I won't change a diaper. I'm not a lady. This is a lady's job. I can't wash my own clothes because this is a, a lady's job. Hey, what is it for? Like, I don't... I'm, I'm just saying this, like, from my experience, right? I can't speak for other people. I just speak for what I know and what I had. I worked a lot with uh, Zimbabwean guys. A lot of them. So I work with them. And before I do a video, guys, and then one thing that you know, before I do a video, I do my research. So I ask people how they think, what this and what that. So this is uh, these guys that uh, I, I was asking, right? And then they told me, like, this guy was saying, like, I was asking them, he has a child, so I was asking, do you know how to remove a child's a diaper? He said, no, I can't do that, my wife is there. I was like, yeah, your wife is there, and the child is for both of you. Why can't you try to change your child's diaper? And he told me that that one is for, like, you know, you know his job is just to provide for the family and to do some things. It's a way his wife is supposed to cook, supposed to clean, supposed to do washing, supposed to take care of the child, which, like, you know, it's good, but it's not good. And most people, they believe that in most of families, if they find their child, Changing a child's diaper or cooking, they will say that motuji siwe or oji siwe, which is not true. And another thing is that you can find a Muzana lady in the bar, while this the husband is at home taking care of the kids, right? But it's rare to find a Zimbabwean lady in the bar drinking right while this the husband or the boyfriend is taking care the boyfriend or the baby date is, is taking care of the kids at home it's a rare LGBTQ community i'm not uh, saying that it's not okay or it's good i'm not saying that people they must do whatever they want but here in Botswana, i feel like uh it's allowed i don't know about Zimbabwe. is it allowed or is not allowed i'm i don't know about that Please, if you know that it's allowed or it's not allowed, please comment it down below. I want to know. But here in Botswana, it's like they are free. They can do whatever they want. You can find a man or a, is it a gay man or a man wearing a skirt, wearing like wearing a skirt, wearing a dressy, makeup on, handbag, like everything. And then they'll be just walking on the street like nothing is going on. Like they'll be walking freely but in zim i never met one of a zimbabwean guy or zimbabwean lady zimbabwean guy who will be wearing like a lady like or oh, who's gay i never met one i never i don't know is it allowed in zim or but i don't know is it allowed or is not allowed but here in Botswana, there is I think they are allowed because you can meet them anywhere too much in the malls. You can find them wearing heels. They'll be like with makeup on, you know, confidence there, you know. And I'm not, guys, I'm not against those people. And last but not least is street, streetness. Uh, the streetness between Botswana and Zimbabwe, I feel like Zimbabwe is too street than Botswana. Because here in Botswana, they can wear whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Then in Zimbabwe, as you know that I, on my last video, I mentioned that in Zimbabwe, camouflage is not allowed. The only person or the only people allowed to wear camouflage is on soldiers only. Uh, the community or the citizens are not allowed to wear camouflage except if you are a soldier. But here in Botswana, camouflage, you can find anyone, everyone, almost everyone wearing camouflage even kids are wearing camouflage old people wearing camouflage 